Hey, young friends, Dr. Bill here. I am really glad that you have chosen to spend a few minutes with me as we continue to work our way through the big names in the Bible. You may recall that about two weeks ago, we finished working through the big names in the Bible in the Old Testament. And last week, we started working our way through the big names in the New Testament. And we started with the biggest name of all, Jesus. And last week, I described how we have four different accounts of Jesus' life, how uh, the writers of our four Gospels told the same story about Jesus, but each of them accented something that they thought was particularly important. Well, today we're going to begin talking about Jesus the person, who he was, what he did, and what he taught. And I'd like to begin today with the only story we have of Jesus' growing up years. You know that we're getting close to Christmas, and we'll celebrate the birth of Jesus. During the season of Advent, we'll prepare ourselves to observe His coming into our world and being our Savior. But there, there are not many stories about Jesus when He was young. In fact, the only one we have is from Luke 2, and it goes something like this. When Jesus was 12 years old, his parents took him to the city of Jerusalem to observe the feast of Passover. Passover was one of the most important feasts for the Hebrew people. As well, Jesus being 12 years old was significant. That's when the Hebrew people began to realize that a person, particularly a young man, could begin to make decisions on his own, and he could begin to become a full member of the Hebrew community. That's why his parents took him to Passover. Well, Luke, who gives us this story in chapter 2, says that his parents traveled with a, uh, a lot of people from their village, and they went to uh, Jerusalem, and they stayed there for several days, and then the time came for them to go home. And so they left the city, and Mary and Joseph uh, seemed to have assumed that Jesus was with the caravan of people, that perhaps he was somewhere in that caravan playing with his friends or being with his friends. When they had gone a day's journey and stopped for the night, Mary and Joseph could not find Jesus no one had seen him. And so Mary and Joseph hot-footed it back to Jerusalem and began searching all over the city trying to find young Jesus. Now Luke tells us that after a couple of days searching, they found Jesus in, of all places, the temple, the place where the Hebrew people worshiped. Now I don't know about you, but when I was 12 years old, probably the last place that I was interested in being in was church or being in a holy space. I wanted to be out playing and doing all kinds of other things. I'm sure Jesus did that. But on this occasion, he was in the temple. And his parents found him not only in the temple, but he was having conversations with many of the Hebrew leaders the people who were the scholars about the law, those who interpreted it for the people. And as Luke said, Jesus was engaged in conversation with these folks, and he sat, he listened, and he asked questions. Now, that's important, I think, for us, because what this text tells us is that Jesus had to grow up. Even though he was the Savior of the world, even though he was God's son, he did not appear in this world fully developed. He had to grow up just like every one of us. And he had to learn things. He had to discover things for himself. And that's what was going on here in this story from Luke. He was growing. And we see here the first flash of his interest and his passion. I think it's important to note that Jesus had to learn he had to grow in his understanding. And that's why Luke tells us that he sat down. That was the posture of a student. He listened. He opened his ears. And then he asked questions about what he heard. I think that's the pattern for all of us in terms of learning things. 
We may not sit, but we put ourselves in a place where we can give our full attention to what it is that we want to know. Then we listen. We pay attention to what's being taught or said. And then once we've absorbed that, we ask our questions. And that's how we learn. So the portrait that Luke gives us is that Jesus had to develop, he had to learn things just like we do. And so this story communicates the fact that in every way, Jesus was just like us. And that's why he's our savior. He entered our lives fully and became like we are. Now, the interesting thing about this is that Mary and Joseph, having found Jesus there in the temple, naturally they uh, grabbed him up and they began to make their way home. And Luke concludes this little vignette by saying that Jesus continued to grow and he continued to develop in favor with both other people and also with God. So the important thing I want you to take away from this first story about Jesus was that just like us, he had to grow up. He had to learn. And in that way, he is also the one setting the example for all of us as we try to embrace our lives and make the most of them. We have to learn too. Well, that'll do it for today. As always, you know that if you have any questions, you can call me, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd be glad to talk to you anytime or answer any questions you might have about this lesson. I hope the week is going well for you, and I look forward to seeing you Sunday. In the meantime, you take care and God bless. Bye-bye.